Hello, welcome back to another video with bestvehiclebackupcameras.com. Um, today I'm going to be fitting one of these 7 inch 2 guard um, rear view mirror dash cams to my brother's uh, 2005 Vauxhall Astra. So we'll go ahead first of all and we'll mount this up over the top of the old rear view mirror. Alright, so the first thing to do is attach these rubber holders and they go onto the hooks on the back of the mirror. A bit like that. Then you put it over the old rear view mirror and then it just pulls around from the back and clips over. So do that on both sides. Don't worry too much about where the mirror is pointing at the moment. And take the protective screen off. All right, on to the next part. So the camera comes with one of these cigarette lighter adapters with the USB-B connection on the end of it. However, um, because this is an older car with no other power sockets, my brother already uses the cigarette lighter for charging his mobile phone. So you can see here he's got an adapter with two USB sockets. So what we've done is this is just a couple of pounds from eBay. We've bought a five meter USB-B cable. So I'm going to plug that in there and then duct it round up and over and into the mirror. So we'll show you how to do that. So we've plugged it in and then ducted it along the top down. Now this isn't in front of the airbag. And now I'm just using this tool here just to push it in behind the trim. And I'm going to carry on down here. Seals like this. Push it well out of the way. All right, so I'm going to cross into the lighter. Okay, so I've now finished ducting, brought it down the seal. Now I couldn't actually get the cable underneath the chair, so what I've done is I've brought it straight down here. There's no way anyone's ever going to get their foot on that. I then brought it underneath the plastic then clipped underneath the mat and then it goes up and into here ready for when he wants to use it okay next we're going to fit this which is the rear view camera okay so the next step is to wire in the reversing camera so this is going to come up and then I'm going to duct it through these seals that go the whole way down to the back of the car I will stay you watching all of the fitting and I'll rejoin you at the back of the car when we do the interesting bit which is wiring it up through the loom for the camera itself. Okay, we're making good progress now. Um, this panel here, if you put your fingers under, I've already taken it off, but it will, if you pull gently it will unclip. That then gives you access to the wiring. So our, the plan here is that eventually we're going to bring the camera cable up through into here and probably mount the camera internally. To get the wire this far, so it's now started coming up into the wiring loom, into the uh, boot lid, what I've done is I've pulled down on here, and if you pull down, this actually unclips, and then I've fed the cable under, up and through into here. And just to say, to get into these, um, to get into these covers, you'll see on the on the rubber when they're in, they have little arrows. If you squeeze the arrows, that will push these clips down and then they just disconnect. So I fed the cable through here. The next job is to get the cable up through and into the boot itself. So now you can see the cables coming up through here. And what I had to do actually was I pushed the, uh, the plug as far as I could through through the rubber here but it, it wasn't going to go all the way through easily so I've actually rolled it back until I got far enough that I could pull this through so now I shall reassemble it and continue bringing the wire up to connect up the camera okay so I'm now putting this panel back on the cabling's all tucked away in there and then we'll stick this to the rear um, wing screen so use the supplied double sided sticky pad and it's central that sticks in place and then we'll adjust the camera as needed but there you go that's how you fit the rear part of the two guard uh, mirror dash cam system now we'll just have a look at the uh, the whole thing in operation oh well, there we go 
the camera is installed you've got your front and your back and that's how I fit one of these two car systems to a car if you found this video useful and you want to learn a bit more about this two car system then you can have a look at the review which is on the left of the screen now alternatively you can click through to have a look at the review of the slightly newer model of this system which in my opinion has a much better um, backup camera to it and if you want to find out more about uh, backup cameras in general then you can visit our website at bestvehiclebackupcameras.com thank you very much for watching